Hi friends, I am Rijo. Uh, today I just plan to cover the topic uh, Azure Point to Site VPN Microsoft Intra ID Authentication. So what is the learning objective today we are plan to discussing Point to Site Authentication using Microsoft Intra ID. This topic is uh, continuity of my previous uh, videos. Uh, if you not watch my previous video, we will give for the link for the below description. Okay. So let's we will go for the learning. What is Microsoft to Intra Authentication? Allow uh, remote user establish a secure connection to Azure Virtual Network using their Microsoft Intra ID. Previously is called as Azure AD credential. Okay. So how to we can do this one? What is a pre-requesting? Uh, need for the uh, global administration account for the authorized uh, Azure VPN application. So user need to uh, initial configuration. User need global administration rule for the Azure uh, author authorization of the Azure VPN application. And one of the important things, Microsoft Intra only supporting for the uh, Open VPN protocol. Okay. So what we will do, we will just go for the our demo Azure Certificate Authentication using Microsoft Intra ID. So you can see here one virtual machine and you have VPN gateway and you have the client device. So my aim is we need to access the client device in the VM using our Microsoft Intra ID. So using also the protocol is open VPN. So we will just go for the task one. So what is the task one? Uh, create VNet and subnet. Okay. So let's we will go for our portal. So now we reach our portal. So first we will create one resource group. Just to click recreate. So here we will write. Then we will select the region. Okay, then click next review and create. So now we validation is completed. Just to click the create. So after that we will just go for our virtual network if you don't have this then we will type here virtual network you can click here okay so just I will just click create then after we select the previously created and we just vnet intra okay then same region so next security we will skip IP address we will just go for 10.0 address space then I just add the subnet so we need two subnet first for our uh, virtual network gateway uh, starting from we will add for 10. .10. okay 27 size it's a so another one we need to for our virtual machine just subnet VM just put zero on it's okay then here I will add 10.20 the starting at size is 24 it's okay so two subnet we added then just go for next just click review and create so now we will create our virtual network okay then click create so now the uh, first step we will complete it task one complete so we will check for what is our next task the task 2 we need to create the VPN gateway and create the VM so just we will go for create VPN gateway and create VM so deployment is progress for our virtual network just wait okay now it's completed so first we will go for virtual network yeah virtual network gateway just to click After that, we need to enter the name for gateway intra. Okay. After that, select the region. SKU type, we will go for VM generation 1 and virtual network. Previously, we create VNet intra and automatically select whatever we created, gateway subnet. Then we need to create public IP address. Okay. Enable, disable the enable active active. Then we will next tag review and create. So they will check the validation running validation is passed just click create so we now create our virtual network gateway so what is our next we need to create for the vm okay just go for this deployment is progress ongoing so we will skip then we will go for the virtual mission so click the virtual mission then just click create so now we will come in here we select the previously create and our vm name vm01 then availability is no infrastructure trusted and not standard same okay then here size is also same default 
then I will just go into enter my password then after that again I enter the password yeah, it's okay then next to disk I need to change the OST size standard SSD then network we just create the previously we create we select subnet okay SNVM is 01 and it's okay so next management next monitoring next advance next tag and review and create so now what happened our virtual machine is created so validation is completed just click create so we complete the both the steps okay vm we created and vm also we virtual network gateway also created so we will go for what is our next step so we almost complete virtual network vm and vnet and vf gateway okay so what is the next yeah authorization using Azure VPN application Azure enterprise application so just we will go for checking our enterprise application okay okay now we reach our Azure portal again so we just click Microsoft Indra just to go into your enterprise application so here you know we don't have the Azure VPN so we need to authenticate the Azure VPN. how to we can order we need the global administration rule for the user so what we will do we just go for the directory then user and we choose one user from here just team then we will add the we will check what is the rule so currently we don't have any rule so we just assign the rule just click assign the rule add globe just click add so now successfully add the rule just we will refresh yeah the rule is completed so we need to now just go for your Microsoft Indra again go to enterprise application so we need to enroll our enterprise application okay for here so what we will do we configuration so learn Microsoft VPN gateway Azure configuration just we will go for authorization Azure VPN application so what we will sign into the global administrator rule and we need to authorize for the this below you are just to copy this one then go to new inconvenience window just paste it here you need to enter your uh, username for the global admin so what is your global administration so just go for microsoft azure again microsoft indra user yeah team is global administration just to copy the I mean, then we need to go to new convenience it's okay so here coming just paste here then click next after that enter the password click next time port 417 4 9 just click verify okay then click accept so we now authorize our application so now with authorization is going on we just go to again checking our microsoft indra go here just to go for your microsoft indra so enterprise application see now your azure vpn authorization is completed so we already authorized the azure vpn authentication so we will check what is our next step so we will go for here so task 3 also completed so task four we need to configure the vpn gateway so just we will go for again our portal so now you can see uh, our deployment is succeed so we will go for our virtual network gateway so here you can see point to site config just click point to site configuration then click configure now so here you need to select your authentication type so we will select for Azure Active Directory authentication. So after that tunnel type is automatically open VPN only supported. So here you need to give your address pool. So this address pool we will give for the our who is the device is authenticated for the client authentication device. Okay, it's automatically defined from the address pool. Okay. So here you can see you need to Azure Active Tenant ID and audience and issuer so just we will go for the document again so 
so here you can see your tenant id audience and issuer okay so what is tenant id tenant id is microsoft entra tenant enter the entra tenant id corresponding to your configuration so we will go for select our intra tenant id so first we need to this copy we will copy this one then we will go to paste here then we just copy here our intra tenant id so how to we will get we just go into here I just open new window the same as well so here we will go for Microsoft Indra then here you just go to see here your tenant okay just click manage tenant so here you can see uh, your default in direct whatever the directory you will give just give that tenant ID so just copy that tenant ID so go again then paste here okay next one you need the audience so how to we can copy that audience Azure audience means the application ID for the Azure VPN Microsoft Intra app. So before we con configure the Azure application enterprise app, go just to go for there. Here you can see your enterprise application. So this one your Azure VPN. So just to click this one. Then you need to copy the application ID. Just to copy the application ID. Then go into audience. Okay. Then issue over. So just to go to again the documentation. The issuer is URL of the secure token service. So just to copy this STS windows.net, then copy, then paste here. Don't remove this black slash trailer. Then we will add the our tenant ID. Okay. Just to copy the tenant. Previously we copy the same tenant. Just to paste it here. So now the configuration is completed. So just save it. So now we uh, point to site configuration is completed because the point to site configuration is saving. So after finished, we will download the VPN client. So now our virtual network gateway is completed. So just configuration, just we will refresh. Then point to site configuration. So we will just click download the VPN client. So now the GPN rack download completed. We just open the folder. Then we just extract. So now GW Entra, this is your Azure VPN XML file. So now we will go to our PowerPoint. We will check what is our next task. Okay. So now we reach, uh, you can see configuration 4 and configuration 5 also we completed. So we download already are the VPN configuration Azure VPN gateway. So we will check what is next. We need to download the Azure VPN client application from the Microsoft App Store. So we will go for now App Store. Here you can click your App Store. Then here you need to search Azure VPN. Okay, the same Azure VPN client. So just to get, yeah, start downloading. It's just waiting for the download complete. Download completed, we just open. So this is your VPN client application. So we need to uh, Azure Virtual Network VPN connection give your micro secure connection to your network internet. Please create the new connection for the select existing connection to continue. So just to click new connection, import which file you just go for download. This is one, then Azure VPN, then Azure VPN configuration. Just open it, then save it. So they will initialize your application initialized. Okay. After that, what is the status is success? So after that, you need to connect. So just click connect. Then you need to give your uh, what is the user account, okay, for the Microsoft Intra. So now I just go for my Microsoft Intra. Uh, in Azure portal again, I go to the Azure portal. Then I will just go for Microsoft Intra. I need one user. Just go to user. 
so I just select for this user okay then copy then again we just go for our settings work and school continue then here I paste then next here enter the password now sign in up only this app so now they are start connecting we just waiting for the yeah see now the green signal is connected so now vpn route 10.10 .10, this is your virtual network uh, we will give 17.16 so vpn ip address my ip address 76.16.1 so now you can see you connect your virtual network for 10.10 .10 address space okay so what we will do we will check our slide what is our next step so next step we need to do the rdp remote desktop connection to our local client mission to assure we so just to go to the local client mission so this is my local client mission i already connect for the azure vpn okay so just we will go for remote desktop connection here we need to check the what is the ip address for our computer so just go to our virtual machine again So this is your VM01, just to click VM01. Then we need the private IP address of the network settings. So this is your private 10.10.20. We just go to copy. Then we try to connect from my desktop. Admin page, okay, then connect. Then enter. then click s see we are connected now remotely for our vm from the our normal laptop normal desk or client device desk so now you understand how to we can configure the uh, microsoft inter id using azure vpn point to site authentication okay so just waiting for the virtual machine opening so now our virtual machine is opening so what we will do we just go to disconnect from my configuration okay this is our azure vpn client just go for disconnect so now i disconnected so we will check we can connect again our see now you can see our remote desktop connection is closed so we what we will do we again try to our accessing or no certain dot then we will try to connect See now we cannot connect, a remote desktop cannot be connected because we already disconnect our VPN in the local client machine. Okay. So we just go for again our slide. So now you understand how to we can authenticate Azure certificate authentication using Microsoft Inter ID in the point to site configuration. So almost all step we completed. So now I wind up my topic. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you so much.